Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos. So Virgo, let me go in and say this, okay? <laughs> so Virgo, let me go on and say this. Ace of Pentacles energy for the overall. We got the Ten of Cups popping out, the Ace of Swords. So I feel like there's a conversation coming in, okay? I'm getting is somebody that you really feel like compliments you very well here, Virg. And you're not the only one who thinks this. Your person feels the same way. All right. Now I say that because I pulled two cards for your person for how they're feeling toward you from the Kipper deck. Okay. Now get this. We have the wealthy man and the privileged lady. They go together real bad. <laughs> okay. They are like the comp. They are like the empress and the emperor or the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles. So this is a divine. These are divine counterparts. Now your person is seeing you that way. You guys, you guys come off as like two very serious people, but you know what you want. I feel like Virgo, you're really happy and proud of yourself with where you are in your life. Of course you want to go further. We all do. Right. But I do feel like there's this energy with you where it's like, wow, I really came a long way. And I feel like your person, um, divine feminine or divine masculine does not matter is somebody who just really wants to take care, right? Like they love taking care of you. They love providing for you. And they really love seeing the fact that this is a situation that they feel like could really go the distance. So I want to get, um, Ooh, okay. Now, as I split the deck, we have the judgment card. Now this is my card of second chances. So this could be someone that you've dealt with before. Okay. To what capacity? I don't know, Vern, but there's definitely an energy here where, um, you two are kind of like, uh, really feeling each other. I feel like there could be an energy with you two. Yeah. Okay. This is reconciliation. So thank you, spirit. There's an energy with you two where like, it's almost like you ignore each other. Okay. And it's like, who's going to look first or who's going to break first is what I'm getting. The month of December or January could be very significant here. Maybe that's when you started dealing with this person again or met them, or that's when you guys fell out. All right. But with the three of cups, that talks about reconciliation. And here you are at the bottom of the deck. Like, Hmm, he want to reconcile with who? All right. Or she wants to reconcile with who? I feel like Virgo, you've been so in your own energy and you've moved on. Okay, from anything that wasn't serving you in the past. Okay, yeah. I feel like you could have gotten to a very stagnant place with this person. You're like, listen, I can't, you know, I gotta, I gotta move forward. But I see with the three of um cups, you could be reconciling with this person. So what is this? What do you what do you want from this bird? What do you want from this situation? Okay, the king of swords. So I feel like not only do you want a conversation, Virg, but you feel like it's the, it's the kind of conversation. It's all about the context I'm getting, right? So with the 10 of wands here in the reverse, I feel like there's some things that you would like to get off your chest to this person, all right? You want to make certain things clear because with that king of swords energy that you're in, it's like, okay, well, if we reconcile, that's cool. I don't have any deep-seated issues with you, but however... I do feel as though there's a certain conversation that I want to have that we have not gotten to have. And I feel like very, with this person, it was weighing on you. Like you, you wanted to say this for a while. Maybe it could be something as simple as you wanted to let them know that you missed them. Okay. Or as complex as like, Hey, why the F did you ghost me? Or like what happened here? Yeah. Ten of swords. Okay. So, um, something definitely occurred with you two where I feel like it hurt you Virg. All right. And I feel like for, for uh, some of you guys, let me know down below in the comments, <clears throat> but I'm definitely getting this energy where this person, I feel like you might've been communicative to them in the past, but they kept doing the same ish over and over and over again. Okay. With this ton of swords, I hate that I have to censor my, my, um, you know, my pirate mouth, my sailor mouth, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, give me this. What is the ton of, uh, what's the ton of swords? Why are you feeling hurt? Okay. Seven of wands. Okay. So Virg, I feel like this person didn't put up a fight. And what's interesting is I feel like you were the one who was more like kind of the one who was looking to this person to do the right thing or to come after you. Like you wanted them to pursue you because you did your thing, right? Like you did pursue this person in some capacity at some point. So you just wanted them to show up or reciprocate that energy. Right. But with the nine of wands, it's like, when you think about it now, it's like you look back like, man, like I see why I'm fatigued or I see why this person gets on my nerves or why I can kind of be okay without this person because they allowed me to slip away, right? They allowed things to get to this point where I don't even know if I want to do this again. Okay. Cause I feel like, again, you guys both feel like you guys are counterparts or this could be a great relationship, but certain, certain things just really rubbed you the wrong way. Okay. What is this? What is the seven of wands for my Virgo? Okay. Wow. The world card in the reverse. So yeah, this is, 
this isn't done. Okay, Virg, it's definitely not done. I feel like sometimes you view the situation like, man, as a missed opportunity. And not for nothing. You guys come off as very, a very, like, um, astute couple here. Like, you know, this person could be well off financially, have a very good job. You are that way too, Virg, or you guys are on your way there. And your future looks bright. Okay, it looks very promising here. Um, so I feel like sometimes you, you're like, man, like, maybe it's a missed opportunity. Maybe I should. So I feel like you go back and forth in your mind about it. Okay, what do you truly want from this connection here, Barry? And then I'm going to get your person's energy. <clears throat> okay, the high priestess. So I feel like right now you just need time to figure out what exactly you want, right? Because the high priestess is all about kind of going quiet, going within. So you're like, listen, I'm not in a rush to do nothing with this person. Yeah, there's the two pentacles is under the nine of wands. I'm not really in a rush to make any hasty decisions. I did that before with this person. Okay, give me more. Let's see how your person is feeling because they feel like you guys are like perfect for each other. Give me more here, spirit. What is this person's energy toward my Virgo? What is this person's energy toward my Virgo here? Okay, what do they think about this reconciliation? What do they think about this reconciliation with my Virgo? What are they thinking about this reconciliation? Ooh, okay, strength card. Oops. Okay, bottom of the deck, judgment. <laughs> judgment, my card is second chances, right? I just went into that a little bit earlier, so thank you for that synchronicity. So they really do want this second chance with you here, Berg. Okay, just period. You like you want the reconciliation. I feel like this person does too. I feel like you guys want to talk about things you guys have not been talking about. Maybe you've been keeping it very cordial, very formal, but it's like, nah, because in this person's eyes, the strength of the connection will always outweigh any issues that you guys have. Okay, at least that's how this person sees it. Um, you could be dealing with the Leo. Why is a strength card here? Okay. We got some cards on the ground. All right, justice in the three of wands. Wow. Okay, so they feel like a con this conversation is the only way to make it right. Okay, they've been waiting a minute for it. And they're like, okay, Virg, I'm going to do what's right. I'm going to do what you said. Because there's energy about like something that you said or something that you tried to convey to this person and it took them a while to get up off their behind, right, and go out there and actually say it. Because the three of wands is like a waiting energy. It's like, okay, I'm just waiting for the right time. Okay, give me more in this person's energy toward my Virgo. So they're waiting for the right time, the right opportunity, okay, because it's like the opportunity in the past was missed. Okay, we got the seven of swords, bottom of the deck, the emperor. So, okay, so I feel like this person, I'm, I don't know why I'm tapping into, it feels specific or maybe some sort of conversation. Let me know down below if you had it. <clears throat> but with this person, I feel like they, tr they were more um, outwardly trying to pursue you at some point. So maybe that's texting you regularly. That's like actually letting you know. But when you were not receptive to that, Virg, I feel like this person really withdrew. Now, it didn't change their intentions, right? They still have some sort of strategy or working on some strategy to get back to you because the emperor is here with the ace of cups. But there's this energy where it's like they don't want you to really know. They want to be able to save face or they, they're so prideful that they don't want to put their neck out there and they get, end up getting hurt. Because with the strength card, I feel like they do hold, they can have the ability to hold back sometimes. Okay, give me more. What is, what is this energy that I'm feeling from this person? Because I just... Okay, six of wands. Yeah. All right. So in their deepest heart of hearts, six of wands, they're still seeing this level of victory. They feel like it can still happen here. Right. They're still like it's I feel like even in this person, they could be a <laughs> thank you spirit in their mind. They're trying their best to be positive about the situation or just simply thinking of a good outcome. Okay. With you. I also feel like this person, they can be a bit like, um, I don't want to call them arrogant, but they do like praise, okay? And I feel like you're somebody, Virg, who can make sure that you admire your woman or your man or whatever. And they love that. So I feel like they think about those times where you really made them feel really good or you made them feel like they're the only man in the world, the only girl in the world. I feel like they think about that or they reminisce about that a lot and they draw a lot of strength and good feelings from that. Okay, so that was just a tidbit. I don't think this person ever expressed that to you, but it's very clear here. Okay, give me more. So then what are they what are they strategizing for? What are they strategizing for? Okay, the nine of wands, bottom of the deck. Okay, give me one more. Okay. So here's the thing. Now your person with the nine of wands energy with how they're feeling toward you 
is they feel like, again, they have to be a bit protective. Remember, we were just going into that energy where they could pull back a little bit, especially after they feel like they've like put themselves out there and you weren't really receptive to it for real, Virgo. I don't know why they feel that way or what you did, but that's how it is. Because it's like they have the, a little wall up. But again, there's not much strength in their wall. Look at this nine of wands. You could kick that gate over like it was nothing. Right. And it's like you, this person didn't even build this with the intention of keeping you out. It's like, okay, let me just put this here for looks. Let me just put this here just, you know, to let the Virgo know that I did build this. Okay. Well, it could be dismantled quickly, especially because they're also feeling a page of cups energy toward you. So this is them wanting to have that open emotional door. Right. So that's that like, um, I don't know why I'm, I'm getting such specific messages in this reading, but that's like flirting with you again. Right. Being emotional with you again, because I feel like you guys went from formal to this person trying to figure out, OK, how can I be emotional with the Virgo again? Because I feel like they they stopped doing what they were doing in the beginning to get you. But now that they're not with you, it's like, OK, well, let me try to go back into the past and and do the same the same thing that I did before. OK, because again, with the star card wanting to heal the situation, 11, 11 on the timer. OK, give me more. Why is the page of cups here? Why is the page of cups here? Okay, five of swords. Bottom deck, five of wands. Okay, so definitely conflicted. Okay, um, <laughs> as I said with the deck, here you are, Berg, in the nine, uh, nine of pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like they're also worried, like your person, and I feel like I've been getting this, like your person is so worried about you being with somebody else because they're not with you. Okay, or they're thinking about the days that you were there or it was more apparent that you guys were building something. But it's like they keep thinking about they're hoping you didn't move on or they're hoping that you won't detach from them. Okay, I don't. Okay. But with this five of swords, this is like this person again with that fear. Five, five. That talks about a lot of conflict where this person is fearful that you're moving forward. Right. That nothing that they say is going to make you stay. But it's like they also it's I feel like this person is conflicted because it's like they know that you can have your walls up. Right. But it's like they have they have their walls up, too. So how does that work? It's like somebody has to bring their walls down. And I feel like it has to be this person. Otherwise, I don't see how this is going to move forward. Give me more. Give me more here, spirit. OK, yeah, we got the hangman and the lovers. Bottom of the deck, the empress. OK, so. <laughs> Hangman hey talks about a stagnant position, right? So we just talked about this person has to make a move or you have to make a move. When they think about making a move here, Virg, they get shell shocked or they kind of rather just sit and think. They, I feel like they deliberate a lot. But when they do deliberate, I feel like they, um, it's almost like they're trying to get a new perspective and in their waiting period, a new perspective of this relationship you guys had and the, just not the relationship though. I'm, I'm hearing the emotional side of it or how emotionally attached they actually were to you. Like they think about it in different ways. What is this? Why am I getting this energy? Okay. You could be dealing with a Gemini or Gemini season. Okay. Nine of swords in the reverse. Give me one more. Okay. I'll just take that bottom deck ace of cups. So when they think about the situation, it's like they try to they try to think more so from the mental space rather than the heart space. OK, because it's funny that I say rather than the heart space and we have the ace of cups here. So it's not that they don't think about that, but it's like that was in the past. Like that was when you guys were actually in a really good place. But now it's like when they think about the love that they have for you, the next feeling that comes up is all this inner turmoil or all this stress and anxiety that I do feel like they're getting better at putting down or putting away. But why does this, why does this cause this level of stress or anxiety when they think about the love that they have for Virgo? Okay. Page of swords. Okay. Cause they need to know more. They're still trying to figure things out, trying to figure you out. This could have got cut off prematurely to where you guys didn't get to grow or bond as deeply or as long, as long as you guys have wanted to. Okay, because with the King of Cups, the King of Cups, anytime I get this for me as a reader, this is someone in love. But there was distance before this person realized that they are in love with you here. Okay, let's get some Oracle cards. Let's see what's, what's weighing heavily on them. Okay, what is weighing heavily on Virgo's person here, spirit? <laughs> transcending obstacles, learning a new phase, preparing for union. So I feel like they're more about uh, moving forward. Okay. Not rehashing the past, but actually moving forward. So it's almost like in their mind, they're trying to figure out how can I come back in without 
going through the same past nonsense we went through and at the same time be able to like get to a different level with the Virgo because with coffin energy this talks about change or endings bringing new beginnings because it's like they want that relationship or whatever you guys have before they don't they don't want to re restart that they'd rather it be a new situation okay I just saw a love call okay okay this camera has been coming out for you guys a lot this person has been uh reminiscing about the situation we've been getting that all throughout the reading Okay, thinking about you as their woman, thinking about you as their man, like really in their head about it too. Okay, give me more. And you might have also had a milestone um, or hit a milestone and this person wishes that they were there to see it or there to talk to you about it. Okay, at the bottom deck we have love, all right? Unconditional love. And the Twin Flames card has come out here, Berg. So this person is definitely feeling that connection with you. Like you guys compliment it. Remember earlier in this read, I was like the privileged lady and the wealthy man are divine counterparts. They complement each other very well. And Twin Flames literally on the card has complimenting each other. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, okay, these cards are... All right, this person... <laughs> Bro, this person has been lusting after you, okay? So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go into the extended here, and I want to get this person's next actions. I want to get how they're truly feeling toward you and have not said, as well as likely outcomes. So if you are interested, everything is down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute, Berg.